The jig is up, people. Just when you thought you had even the tiniest bit of privacy, scientists are fixing to be able to see up in your brain. Using functional magnetic resonance imaging, which is basically just a fancy MRI, a team at Berkeley has come up with a system that can capture the images our brains are seeing as we're thinking them. So here's what they did. Basically, they stuck somebody in the fMRI for a long ass time and showed the movie trailers. That person was watching the movie trailers, they recorded all of the activity of their brain. This information was fed into a crazy program that compares the brain waves with the images that the brain was seeing, and then using that information is able to decode brain waves back into images. And then voila, the contents of your brain uploaded to YouTube. I mean this literally, they actually uploaded it to YouTube. This is the video from the Berkeley lab. The images on the left are movie clips that the subject was given to watch, and the garbled colored stuff on the right represent the reconstructions of what the computer thinks the people were seeing, based on the electronic pulses their brains were making as they watched the clips. And check this one out. So the picture in the top left hand corner is what the subjects were shown. Scientists recorded how their brain waves responded to those images and then applied those patterns against an enormous batch of totally random YouTube clips that the subjects had not seen. The computer then gave its closest guesses about what the person was watching, and that's what you see in the three rows down. Well, hold on. Okay, go back. Go. Oh. What? Top row, third from the left. Huh. Well, apparently one computer out there thinks that I look like a kid wearing a stethoscope. Oh, and then I turn into this guy and then, okay, an airplane. Fascinating. You're not impressed. I can tell you're not impressed, but you should be impressed. In fact, maybe you should be a little bit freaked out. This is just the first attempt that scientists have made to peer into our brains, to reconstruct the visual images that we are thinking as we think them. And it's actually not too shabby. I mean, I've been told that from certain angles, I, I look kind of like an airplane. So obviously we're not going to be reading each other's minds with this technology anytime in the next few years. But the scientists who developed it think that we're like only 20 years away from being able to record our own dreams and then watch them when they're awake. Which I would also really like to do to my dog because I, I just want to know what she's chasing. So like, if I were to show up in one of your dreams, you could record that dream and send it to me. But don't do that. That would be creepy. But of course the primary use for this technology would be medical to communicate with people who've had strokes or who are in comas. But uh, I suggest that you start practicing now not just living clean, but thinking clean. Because science is coming for your brains. You know, in like 20 years or so. Thank you for subscribing to youtube.com slash scishow where we have tons of things that make you smarter coming at you every single week. Uh, and you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And if you have any questions, we will attempt to answer those as well.